Hey what's up guys Chazad here and today I have Lenovo Vibe K4 Note with me and in this video I'll be going over some of its software features that Lenovo's Vibe UI brings with it. So let's get started. First of all if you have Lenovo's Ant VR headset then go into settings, features and turn on VR mode switch. Now press and hold the power button and turn on VR mode. Well now just use your VR headset and experience every content and every video on your device in a whole new way. Tap and hold on the home screen and go into preferences. Here you can change the default launcher. If you switch to the Vibe UI launcher, there is no app drawer. And if you want more stock-like feel, then you can go with the stock Android launcher. Now pulling down the notification center, you can click this screenshot button to take a screenshot. Here you can select which part of the screen you want to capture. You can also scribble on it and share it right away. Now one of the things that I'm really loving on this phone is its Dolby Atmos equipped speakers. Tap and hold on this Dolby toggle and it takes you to the app. If it's turned off then first turn it on, it makes a huge difference in sound quality. Plus there are different profile and option to give you the best audio output. Now when you are running out of battery, there are two power saving modes on the K4 Note. First mode limits the CPU power and turns off background sync. But the ultimate power saving mode is for the time when you really need that 5% battery. It only allows for basic functions like calls and SMS, but in return you are getting outstanding battery life and standby time. Now going into the settings and display settings, here you can change the color temperature and saturation. So if you feel that the display is washed out, you can add saturation as per your liking. Also I have smart brightness turned on, it enhances the outdoor visibility of the display. Then there is high sensitivity touch mode, with this you can use your phone even with gloves on. Brightness protection reduces the display brightness for more suitable nighttime browsing. Now going into features tab, with quick snap on, you can double tap either of the volume keys to take a picture while the screen is off. Knock to light is basically double tap to wake, works pretty well. With smart screen, you can automate your phone to do certain tasks at certain time or place. For example, I have my nighttime profile set up here, which will automatically turn on on 10 p.m. So in this profile, I have set up a couple of things like I want my phone to be on the silent mode, display brightness to be on the darkest and I want night protection on and the Wi-Fi should be turned off. In the end, I want clock app to set up alarm for the next day. So now every night at 10 p.m. phone will do all of these things automatically without me having to touch anything. Pretty handy feature and I personally enjoy using this. Okay, coming back to the features again, wide touch is like assistive touch on iOS with lots of different apps and shortcuts, etc. Another interesting feature is fingerprint gesture. As you guys might know, there is a fingerprint scanner on the back of Lenovo K4 Note. But apart from just unlocking the device, you can use it to do some other things like tapping it once to go back or pressing and holding it for multitasking menu. And one of my favorite one is to use fingerprint scanner to take pictures. In the camera app, you can just tap the fingerprint scanner to take picture. It can be really handy for all of those selfie lovers. In the call settings, you can auto record calls from unknown numbers or all of your contacts and all of these recording gets saved in internal memory. With smart answer, it will automatically pick up the call as soon as you raise the phone near to your ear. Permission control is pretty simple, like if you don't want Facebook to use location services, you can turn that thing off. Same goes for every other app, like if you don't want Twitter to read your contact detail, you can just easily turn that thing off. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you all have enjoyed this. If you did, then don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. And let me know what other videos you guys want to see with the K4 Note. My name is Shazad and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.